What is the value of the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the x minus x times e to the x plus x dx? Uh, okay. Um, I guess my, so my instinct here is to expand this and then use techniques of integration. But I, I, I in fact see right away that by expanding it, the terms that are a mix of linear and exponential and x will, will cancel. And we'll simply be left with um, having to integrate two simple functions, an exponential and, and a linear. So by simply expanding this, I get e to the 2x plus x e to the x minus x e to the x minus x squared. So I have the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the 2x minus x squared dx, which should be pretty straightforward. So this has an antiderivative of e to the 2x over 2 minus x cubed over 3. We're evaluating at 0 and 1. So this gives e squared over 2 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 2. Uh, so they have everything over a common denominator. Let's say this is 3 e squared minus 2 minus 3 over 6. which is 3e squared minus 5 over 6. And that's option D. Yeah, it, the, the integral when you first look at it might look a little bit intimidating because you have, you know, maybe you want to start making some substitutions or maybe this, that, something. Uh, you're thinking about advanced techniques of integration, but you know this is a factored. I could have even skipped skipped some of the algebra, but this is the factored form for a difference of squares. I have something minus something and something plus something, where the somethings are, you know, the same. A minus B times A plus B, and so I end up with A squared minus B squared. Um, and so when you recognize that there's, it's still very easy to integrate. It's very easy to integrate still x times e to the x. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't remember off the top of my head what the integral of that is, but it's easy to figure out with um, integration by parts. Not needed here, though. Everything simplifies very well. Just expand and see what happens. So there's the answer. Thanks for watching.